Hi, now I will show you how to upload a code to a microprocessor on Proteus uh, with a simple example which is LED linking. First, uh, let me build the circuit on Proteus, later create a project uh, on MPLAB XID, uh, then upload it to our microprocessor via Proteus. And so let's start with Proteus. Here, as you see, this is the Proteus program interface, and we uh, search for components uh, with this icon. Uh, it includes components such as capacitors, resistors, and the components that's include in the pro uh, your uh, Proteus program library. So uh, let me select our microprocessor, which is peak 18 at 45 18 22. Let's see here. And let me select two LEDs. Here there are many LEDs with different colors and different specifications. So uh, let me choose one red and one yellow active LEDs. And finally we need uh, resistors for protection of LEDs of course. Here it's ok. Now these are our uh, components. So let me draw the circuit. First place microprocessor at the center. Here is bad writing. Now the LEDs must to be uh, close to port B because in the code I will toggle the port B bit 7 and port B bit 5. By the way here port A, port B, port C, D and port E. Here uh, let me place the LEDs one here and let two here. I think these positions better. Here R1, resistor 1 and resistor 2. So let me do the connections. The connections. It goes to R5, this goes to R7 and B7. Here the connections is over and the circuit must be grounded and you can find ground here terminals. Also uh, we can find the ground. With uh, right click in any empty field and go to place terminals and here ground. Now connect them, connect the LEDs to the ground. It's okay. Now, the last things we have to power, uh, we have to supply power to our, our microprocessor. Here, the first bit is the power bit or micro processor so uh, the circuitry is over now I will create a, a project on MPLAB XID then I will upload it to uh, this pitch on Proteus let me run the program here it will take just a few seconds Yes, here the start page as you see. Now just click on this for uh, start to create a new project. Here the first step choose project that is going to chip embedded. Now the second step is selecting device. A device means uh, the microprocessor which is big 18 45 k 22 for us. Now uh, the select tool is just select simulator here and, and puzzle here. This is the last step uh, that you will be named your project and determine its location. Let the name be uh, LED link here. Here, as you see, the project location is on my desktop in the course folder. I always keep my project in on my desktop in the course folder. Here uh, the project is created. This is the files. Now before uh, start the coding, we need to add a template ACM file into the these source files. Uh, I just keep it uh, on my desktop. Uh, let me edit. Here just right click on source files and go and add existing item here. Now just select the template ACM file here. Now we are ready to code, just double click on this, 
here our initial code our template code this is the configuration part I do not make any change on this here our uh, coding part uh, we just write our code from here to end now I just delete it and paste the code that will links the port B bit 7 and bit 5 here the code but I won't show you the rest of the code because it's possible to be your lab assignment in the rest of the code now uh, just click on this for build the main project here as you can see the build is successful means that there is no error in the code and uh, the hex file uh, was created the hex file is important because uh, hex file is the file that uh, we will upload to uh, our microprocessor now let's check it check the hex file here the codes folder and plan x project and let links is our project and here hex file now uh, let me upload it to our microprocessor on Pro Tools. Here, here our Pro Tools circuit. Now for uh, upload the hex file into the, this microprocessor, just click on double click on the microprocessor. Here the program file. Uh, let's uh, browse the hex file. Here codes folder again our project and hex file you just open it uh, and change the processor clock, clock frequency uh, to 16 megahertz because uh, peak 18 and 45k 22 has internal uh, crystal oscillator that uh, 16 megahertz so uh, just click ok here we are ready to run uh, but there is uh, one left uh, here. Uh, the resistance values are too high to see any lights in the LEDs. Let me change them. You just edit properties and change the resistance values. Let me change them. 220 is better, I think. It's also 220. Now we are ready to run here and run it. As you see, the LEDs are blinking and uh, the system works properly. Here it's okay.